Okay, this is an active isolated stretch I call a ballerina. It's one of my favourites. Anyone who's been to my clinic will have been given this at some point. And it's great because what you're going to be stretching is your leg abductors, a bit of TFL. You're going to get the QL, which sits between the, the uh, top of the pelvis and the bottom two ribs. And you're going to be getting your lats all in one stretch. So it's a great stretch, very time effective, targeting lots of muscles at once. Fairly complicated. This is the one I'd say people struggle with the most, so we're going to talk it through nice and slowly. So I'm going to stretch my left side, okay? The side you're stretching, that foot goes behind. So my left foot will go behind and I'll step over with my right. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping my pelvis nice and square. I'm not tilting as I'm putting my leg behind. If you find you're doing this, then bring your legs closer together because you need to keep your pelvis so it's pointing forward. Okay, so I'll cross my legs and now I'm stretching my left side so I'll take my left arm and I'm going to bring it up so my bicep is resting on my ear. Then with my right arm I'm going to go up and grasp my forearm. Don't hold the elbow joint, hold on to the fleshy part of your forearm. From here I'm going to tilt to the right and I'm going to feel the stretch running all the way down the outside of my body. As I feel the stretch with this hand, I'm gonna pull on my forearm for two seconds. One, two, and I'm gonna come back out. As I'm pulling on my forearm, I'm consciously pushing my hips out to the side, okay? So it's a two action. It's a pull on the forearm and a push out on the hip. One, two, and I'm gonna come all the way so my body's straight. And I'm gonna do this 10 times. One, two, and all the way up. One, two, and all the way up. People will feel it here straight away and here. If you're not really feeling it in here, make sure your hips are square. And once you've got the hang of it, increase the distance between your feet and you'll get more of the abductors and the TFL. Okay, but to begin with, while you're getting the hang of it, start with your feet relatively close together. I'm gonna to show it one more time, just on the right, because like I say, this is the one people don't always, not, we don't struggle with, but I just wanna be clear on it. So if I'm gonna do my right, right foot behind the left, right bicep to ear, left arm on right forearm, and then tilt to the left. Feel the stretch, one, pull, one, two, and up. And again, one, two, and up. One, two, and up, 10 times. Pelvis nice and square, tilting over, stretching out all of the outside of your body as you go.